It's like magic. Oh my God, get him. Yeah, get him, go. This camp kitchen has been a total game changer for my entire car camping experience. And I'm gonna show you everything about it right now. So this camp kitchen is made by a company called Wheels Fills, and these are handmade in Texas by two young entrepreneurs, a husband and wife team, and we're gonna talk with them at the end because they have a really interesting story. All right, to open this thing, you first need to remove this little decorative piece comes out like that and there are these two locking mechanisms on either side you just gently pull them out to release the drawer and the drawer comes out and you want to have one of these ready these are the supports that it comes with so I've already adjusted this one to the right height you can adjust it by turning the wheel underneath and you just put it in the little holes and put it in there and you can adjust it here this is the main counter. This is your sink feature, so this comes off. I'll show you that in a minute. I really love the finish of this wood. It's smooth and nice, and it's a pretty color. It goes with my aesthetic. Love the drawer. This is cute. When you install the camp kitchen, you need to think about counterbalancing the weight because once this comes out you are in danger of tipping the unit if you don't have it properly installed. I installed mine with heavy duty velcro strips that stick to the permanent carpet in the car and they stick like a death grip. It's like a really strong adhesion but when you have this weighed down with stuff and you pull it out you need to think about counterbalancing the weight. So far the velcro has worked great for me but what's really working fabulous is this basket on top. I'd say this basket probably weighs about 40 pounds when it's totally loaded. You can actually, if you have a rubber mat, you can drill holes and install it with screws if you wanna do that. Not only does this come out for your sink, but this whole piece comes out. So I just have a few things in here, my collapsible pan, a couple of plates, these bowls, I have a sponge and um, my little camp cutting board. These are adjustable so you can move them around in the slots. I keep this one wide because the sink goes right here and that way I don't have to move things around to use the sink. Utensils, some extra rags, finally have a place for this kind of you know, Ziploc Tupperware type stuff. And in the back, I've just got these extra pieces which you can actually mount things on, which I'll show you in a minute. So the unit comes with these tables that expand like so. You do need to make sure that you have enough room here to swing them out from your car. This one goes over here like this. You have these three wings that you can use to host a party, basically. And there are two extra supports. And just like the other ones, you stick them up under the table like this and adjust them as needed. I'm not gonna use all of these tables. I think I'm just gonna use one or two of them. So this one, I am just going to move back because then I can cut here at this level and I can cook here at this level. And I don't even know if I'll need that or not. We shall see. Let's cook breakfast. Okay, do you see how the sink cover isn't flush with the counter? Well, I didn't realize it at the time, but it matters which side of the counter is facing up. So to fix that, all you have to do is flip the counter over and then put the sink cover in the hole and then it'll fit perfectly. And I didn't realize this till the end of the day. over. All right, Piggy, let's see if we can eat this without the wasps discovering it. Let's try a little bacon. Oh, really? The wasps are here. Oh, wow. That's actually really good. I had the camera tripod over there. Oh my God, there it goes. Oh my God, get him. Yeah, get him, go. Oh my God. 
Get out! He was in the flipping car. I guess I have to eat here. Look at that. It's a table. Oh my God, it's over there. Get out of here. Good Lord, these things are aggressive. Just can't turn your back on these little ground squirrels. Okay, let's do dishes. USB faucet, USB faucet pipe. Shoving this on. Oh, it goes through the hole. Very cool. Boom, baby. Behold the water source. Ugh. Go and stick the tube in like so. I charged it up, so it should work. We have a sink. The sink has a drain spout. The drain spout corresponds with this hole here. We've got the sink in, we've got the plug in, we've got the faucet in. <gasps> oh my God, it works! It's like magic! running water in the wilderness. Whoa, look at that. Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Pure Castile Soap. Soap for all occasions. We are doing dishes in our outdoor camp kitchen sink. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh my God, it makes me want to clean more. Whoa, look at this. Oh God, this drawer is going to be wet inside. Oh God, I'm using a lot of water. Okay. Lordy, look at this. It's great. Oh, is that it? Am I out of water already? No. Oh, I think it goes off by itself if it's on a certain amount of time. Let's see how much water we did use. All right, you can see the drips coming out of the drawer because I was messy with my rinsing. You can see the water that drips through on that side, but there's also water over here, which makes me wonder if I didn't close the plug tight enough. Don't be messy with the water. But here is the bottle. It's uh, still mostly full. Yeah, those are the two drips. There's a really cool bird out there. It's making a noise I've never heard before. So this is literally my first time using the whole sink, like setting it up and doing the whole thing. And clearly there are some quirks I need to figure out and work out, but honestly, it's pretty cool. So we'll keep using it and see how it goes. He's back, thing one. Don't do it, don't do it. Do not go into my tailpipe. There he is. Oh my God, the ground squirrels or the chipmunks or whatever they are, they are so aggressive. They keep coming in, they keep you know, jumping in my car tire, they keep sniffing around looking for food. I cleaned everything up because I don't want to feed these creatures at all. But they keep coming back and then they keep going under the picnic table and jumping on the picnic table and jumping up on the stove. You throw a rock at them, it's like, not that I would ever hit them because I'm not that good at throwing rocks, but it doesn't even scare them. You know, sometimes you clap, they might scare away, they might not. I mean, holy cow, these things are like brazen. Squirrels are cool. Oh yeah, it's boiling already. Okay, boom. <laughs> Lots of olive oil just because. <laughs> ah. So sorry you missed the boiling over action. A fire. I'm gonna start sticking to the pan soon. Oh, and I have water right here. Okay, stop. Oh god, it's still sticking to the pan. Oh yeah, it's al dente. I wish I put the thing on low. But it really just doesn't go low. Let's do this. Okay. Let's be generous. It's a race against time to see if I can make this before. All the wasps and the creatures get really interested in what I'm doing. Oh crap, shoot. Squirrels are gonna love that. Okay, I'm just trying to clean up a little bit as I go. God, I made another oily mess. Lordy. Everything's oily, everything's messy, because I'm a slob. Next, we need the sun-dried julienne tomatoes. Where are my squirrel friends? Suddenly disappeared. Wait, gotta get a piggy shot. This piggy. Oh 
Oh my god, this has been recording the whole time. Mm, it's for me, not the squirrels. Okay. Hi, nuts. Freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Mmm. Still warm. I hear the ground squirrels slash chipmunks. So overall, I really like this product. I mean, if I had to critique it, I would say I wish the legs were a little easier to adjust. And, you know, I wish the sink draining situation was a little bit neater, but it is honestly a game changer, especially for camping out in the BLM when there's just nothing but you and your car. So I'm really enjoying this. And kudos to the entrepreneurs for, you know, trying to make this thing in America and ship it wherever you need to ship it to. This is not an easy thing Whoa. to do. Oh, let's get rid of the ugly sponge. So let's hear from them for a moment. My husband and I have successfully run our business in Europe. Yes, we are making all our products right here in the United States, in Houston, Texas. We have our small facility here. We have our first assembler who helps us with creating all these products. Our initial challenge was gaining our first customers and reviews as some people were hesitant to make a purchase at a brand new company. Currently, we are navigating through this phrase. We are happy to see photos of our products being used and to read a positive feedback. So our client base is expanding and our our brand recognition improves daily. I hope soon we will have more like-minded people to grow together. And of course, we keep our production local to be confident in the highest quality of our products and to provide a positive work environment for our employees. So many thanks to Wheelsfields for sponsoring this video. There's a discount code down in the description. Holidays are coming up, so it's a great gift for your car camping friends. Definitely give them a try. They stand behind their product and I have just enjoyed having this so much and I will be using it for a long time to come.